hello everyone this is santosh and welcome to tech design so in this tutorial i am going to show you how we can make this particular model in part modeling workbench so we also have a drawing for this you can see here this is a drawing and we have an isometric view over here and there are other two views with uh, all the dimensions so without wasting time we can just uh, start making it in nx uh, i will just go to new file and i'll just keep it as a model workbench and then uh, unit as a mm so i'll just click okay so once we are into uh, you know workbench so you can see here the model so we are going to create this profile uh, whatever this you can see here this profile i'm going to create it in one view and uh, this profile i'm going to create it in one view so those two profile will be same and between those two profile i'm going to create this uh, model body okay so let's get started here so what i'm going to do is i'll just go to sketch and moment on this plane okay and here i'm going to draw two circles you can see here this is one circle and this is another circle so this is with a radius of uh, 25 and the small radius will be 7.5 so let's go to circle here and uh, draw two circles so 50 and then 15 okay so one with a diameter of 50 and another one another one is with diameter of 15 so these two circles i am going to make it on a x axis so press c point on a curve so this point should lie on this x axis okay and then there is a line here so i'm going to draw this line and uh, this line i'm going to draw it here okay so similarly i'm going to draw it here so i need a corner here so for that i'll just go to corner and select this okay and we don't want this particular arc so i'm going to trim it okay so now uh, this whatever the line is there it should lie on this y-axis so press c point on a curve so this point should be on this curve okay and then there is a distance here from this point to this line it is 25 mm so press D and between this point to here it, is, it should be 25 mm. okay so that's all we have in this sketch you can see our, our sketch is fully constrained so similar kind of uh, you know sketch I'm going to do it in other plane so I'll just finish this and let me fit this okay so now I'll just go to sketch a moment on this plane okay and here again the same thing I'm going to repeat so 50 mm and then 15 mm so these two should lie on x-axis so point on a curve okay and now you can go to drawing you can see here from this circle center to this edge we have 125 mm as an distance so let us go to hit D for rapid dimensions so from this center point to this edge it is 125 okay so i can just clear close this and now again it's the same thing i'm going to draw lines here okay so let's go to corner and trim this corner okay so the distance from here to this is 25 mm okay so let us trim this extra line so same profile whatever we have done it here you can see the same profile i have here okay so our sketch is fully constrained so we can finish the sketch so now we have two uh, profiles um, but they are in a different plane okay so we are going to extrude this go to extrude and select first sketch okay and it should be symmetric with only 10 mm okay you can just click okay so similarly again this sketch now second sketch symmetric and you can just click ok ok so now you can see here these are the two bodies we got so these two extrude so we are going to create a body here in between these two by using a surface command called through curves so we'll just go to through curves here surface and through curves here so we need to give one curve as this boundary and another curve as this boundary okay and then we have to give a tangent faces so let us see how we can do so first curve 
and single curve i'm going to select this okay so this is my single curve now hit a new set and i'm going to select this curve okay so these are the two curves that i have selected but always make sure when you are selecting these two curves start point for this particular curve should be here and start point for this particular curve should be here so that your curve will be developed from here to here okay so now we'll go to face okay i'm going to select these faces all four faces okay and then for here again these faces no need to worry about uh, the errors so it will go off once you give all the input okay so now we can see here so as i said like uh, when you select a start point from here to here the curve will be generated from here and respectively the other corners will also have the same curve okay so now everything is done you can just click okay so you can see here the model is completed and the only thing is here this is different body and this is different body and this is different body so we are going to make unite so go to unite and select any one body and select all the bodies here and you can just click ok so once this is done hit ctrl w and now hide everything show only solid bodies so ok so this is going to be our model guys so if you have any doubts please comment in the section below i will try to answer thank you guys